It was time for another Richmond Yacht Club beer can race. We had Michael and Wesley on the jib sheets, Doug was on the mainsail, Blair was at the helm, and of course I was there to do video and help out in any way I could, and Chris decided to come along as an observer. Okay. Get ready to tack. Ready to tack. Bring the main in a little more. There you go, good. That's it, and now we're tacking. Sheet in. We've got this guy coming way up. Sheet in hard. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. In, in, in. Okay, good. Now we will attack. Ready to attack? Bring Ready. the main in. We find that it is super helpful to get out and practice before we race, especially with crew who are still on the early side of learning. So what we're going to try to do at the end, this is important, so listen up. We're going to try to be at the line about 2.40 before the start, and we'll change directions and come down. And then after about a, with about a minute and a half, a minute 25 left, probably a minute 30, we're going to turn direction back. As we go up toward the line, we'll probably be coming a little early. So I'll ask you guys to loosen the sails and we're going to stall the boat to slow it down a little. And then when I think we're about right to make a run for the line, then I ask everyone to sheet in really fast. So that makes sense? Yep. yep. 608. Okay, let's trim in. Trim those sails in. We're going to go harder on the wind. So I'm looking for some openings. There's a big opening down there. <laughs> yeah, that's really far from the favored side. <laughs> Boy, the wind just shifted like crazy. Inbound and outbound. Always right at our Great. <laughs> Okay, um, e ease the main a little. 619. Just a little. Be ready to bring it back in. Get it on the clutch and ready. Generally good. Okay, get ready to spill some wind. Let your sails go. Let them out. Let them out. We got 35 seconds to start time. Let it out. You're good, just let it out, that's good. 30 seconds. Okay. No, no, no. 25. Right on the line. 20. We're close. 15. Okay, bring it in, sheet it in. Go, 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 go. Sheet it in. Sheet it in, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Sheet it in. Go, Wesley. Go, I go, can't. go, go. Trying. Go, go, go. Go with the main. Okay, that's good. Good on the main. Keep going on the Jenny. Okay, good. Okay. I think that's a good start. Oh, I didn't press my my button for lap. Okay, we have crossed the starting line. Yeah. Everyone excited? Okay, you guys may need to ease the sail. You gotta stay in your stations. We have to take pictures. No fun. <laughs> oh yeah, summer's flight. We raced against the Dude, they took our wind. Yeah, can feel that, huh? Well, it'll come back. I'm sure you know you got plenty of traffic to port. Yep. All right, we're, the mark is out there. So the good news is we follow boats. Our sailboat is a Beneteau 423 2005. The prior owner had the name of the boat as Tiki Blue and they were well known in the beer can races and throughout racing circles, including the Pacific Cup.
it's just off the shroud. We're going as high as we can. Now we're getting some wind, 16 knots. Yeah, we're grinding down on all these boats. Let me know if any of them tack. I really need to know what all those boats are doing. Yeah, for sure. Okay, has anybody tacked yet? No. And we've gained on all of them, haven't we? Yep. One, green's tacking. The strategy for this race was to cover the roughly 18 boats who went out on starboard tack, rather than to cover the one boat, Summer's Flight, that kept going way out on port tack. That way, we're covering most of the fleet. We had an amazing starboard tack and out paced all of the other 18 boats. So we ended up in second place before we tacked back over on the port tack. Now the wind is tack. collapsing again. Uh, okay, so there it is. Come on, wind. Okay, does anybody see the mark? Where are uh, they rounding? Mark right there, right where the lasers are. Yeah, yeah. That's that it. I think that's it. Watch what they do, but you got to start identifying the mark for us. You got a laser below you to the left. We just rounded it. They're still a ways behind. Now. Everyone's tacking towards the mark now. Yeah. Okay, ready to tack. <laughs> yep. The main is ready. Both are, both travelers are cleated, right? Tacking. Yes, both So here we were now well ahead of all of the boats that went out on starboard tack and the only question was Summer's Flight which had stayed on port tack all the way out of the reach without ever tacking. So now what we have to figure out is when we're going to lay the mark. Which of course we're nowhere near that right now. This was unbelievable progress from prior races where we were nowhere near as fast compared to other boats. 33 to 35, so midship would be too far. So once it's near midship, but you always want to allow a little bit of sideways slippage also. We were sailing off the wind at an angle of 33 to 35 degrees in the fairly high wind. So in theory, when we tack, Perhaps it's a 70 degree change. I don't think any boat in our class has rounded yet. No, definitely not. That big one up there is at about one o'clock from us now though. They're gonna get the fir there first. Darn. They, they stayed super far out and then and only that, had to do worked. one tack. Yeah. That was an interesting. Well, there's a general rule of thumb, which is follow cover most of the fleet. Right, that's what you did. Because if you only, if you cover 20 boats versus covering one boat, then maybe you come in second or right. 20th. <laughs> right. We're approaching the the ley line. Because we're pretty close to them. Yeah, they're probably in first. They're definitely in first. I think we might be in third, which is really good. Well, it's better than starting almost three minutes late. <laughs> that was pretty brutal. Okay, get ready to tack. Okay, tacking. We may not make it. I may have gone too soon. Yeah, we may not make it. We got to get every inch out to make it. Grind away. No, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Well, yeah, it depends on the, the wind can shift a lot. I believe. I believe, I believe. <laughs> in our first two beer cans, we were so far back in the pack. So given that we were ahead of all the boats that went out on starboard tack, 
I decided to be a little bit aggressive for the lay line to really maximize the chance of a high finish within our fleet. We've got someone crossing us from above coming back. That's kind of a bummer. Oh no, they're, they're turning down. We're starting to attack though. Yeah, they turned, they turned. Okay, it's going to be really close whether we make the mark without having to tack. We're super, super close. It's to our starboard of our bow right now. When trying to lay a mark, you can only get what the wind will give you with a little bit of an exception where you can pinch right at the end. So Summer's flight is a Beneteau 46.1, which is 48 feet, rated to go quite a bit faster than our boat. And they decided to one tack the whole race to the weather mark. Okay, here's the mark. We're just, oh, we're cutting it so close. That's amazing. We're making it. That's amazing. Good job, did, honey. The wind did just shift suddenly. Yeah, quite now a bit we're headed down. towards the. We just got headed. There it is. We All right, there he is. Woo okay, get ready to jive the boom, but we'll try to keep the general There's on the Bob same Klein. side. Okay, ease the genoa. Ease the genoa. Good job, team. Let the boom Woo cross, and Woo then you gotta ease the boom. Ease the boom. Let it out like crazy. Okay, and Michael, you just play with it. And then someone's going to have to go up there with the hook. Wesley, you go where Michael is. Oh, shoot, it's switched. Hold on. Yeah, let's just get it on Wesley's side. Bring the main in. Bring it on in. Bring those sails in. The main can go out more. The large Cal 40 that you see behind us with the carbon fiber mainsail did eventually pass us. They were currently in third and we were in second at this point. So it looks like this guy is just now getting okay, to good, the mark. That's good. As the good most, on the general. Most people have rounded the mark. In this, our third beer can, the crew was still not ready to work with our Genoa cars and that proved to really slow us down on the downwind leg. The mark is about where that tugboat is now. So they've got a little ways to go. Let's try wing on wing. Michael's gonna to try to bring it over to his side. And then, sweetie, get that pole ready to hand to somebody. Wesley, you gotta ease it out. Let it go to Michael. Okay, Wesley, you get up there with the pole and you try to get it, get the end of it into the clue to hold the sail out. Wesley, come on back. Huh? We're going to sheet it in on the other side. And I just try to fill it with air. Now you got to let it out. Because we're, we're on a broad reach. So let it out, let it out. That's good, right in there. Bring it in just a little. And you'll just, you just want to bring it in and out. And you're just trying to keep it full. They're trying to avoid the wind shadow and the buffalo. We just have to take our lumps. Sometimes it's better to just keep a straight line, um, especially in light wind, trying to maneuver around yeah. doesn't yeah. usually gain you much. We're still really far ahead of those boats. But if the wind collapses, they'll all catch us. All that work we will have done. Look how far behind they all are. If the wind collapses, they will all catch us, which is very mean. Yeah, all those boats are grinding on us. It's gonna be really close whether they catch us. Now, at some point, we're probably also gonna have to jibe. Yep. Um, so just be... Ready to pull it in? Okay, Wesley, you can come back. You'll notice some boats with spinnakers of various sorts, and they are in a different class. We are in the over 30 foot class without spinnaker. Okay, everybody get down. The boom is gonna be coming. Sheet it in. Sheet the boom in. Now, Wesley, what you could do if you want is go up there and throw the boom over. Right now? Yep. But make sure you're on the outside of the boom when you throw it over. 
There you go. Good. Now let it out. Ease it out. <laughs> Manual tacking. <laughs> Ease it out. Oh, you, in dinghies, you do that all the time. But in light wind sailing, you, Okay, Michael, good job getting the Genoa going. And then I need someone to start looking for the green mark. It's uh, just to your, it's a little ways to the 11 port. Yeah, 11 o'clock. I can think of that number. <laughs> Gosh, all the boats are grinding down. Oh, man. So when the wind fills in from behind, this there's nothing. Okay, ease the main now. We're going to get the main breathing again. So yeah, Wesley, if you're okay, get up there on the boom and help hold it out. Push it out. Got it. Doug, let it go, and then Wesley, push it out. There you go. Good. Much better. Okay. And then, can anybody see the green mark? Bring the main back in just slightly. That's good. You're like right on it. Yeah. That was right behind. Oh, no, now it's 12. Yeah, you're. Good, I see it. Oh, we're pretty close to it, too. Yeah. So this is how we kept that boat at bay. Because otherwise, since they're grabbing the wind from behind, they would eventually pass us, but we're gonna hold them off just barely. Okay, Uno is crossing the finish line. Okay, I see it, thanks. One boat length or less. We got it. Oh, they honk the horn, huh? Yeah, as you go across. It's your bow, right? We got it. It's the bow, yeah. Stern bow. We did it. Look at that. Beep. Ooh. There's our beep. Look what we did. Look behind. Woo <laughs> That's our first really good. <laughs> Good one, that wow. Good. good going, everybody. Good job. Okay, she did. Wow, good going. Nice. Man, look at that. Well, as you can see, the last race was really exciting. That was on June 19th. And figured it would probably be a long time again before we'd pull off a third. But lo and behold, on July 3rd, with Bill, my brother-in-law, crewing, uh, Michael Melnick, a good friend from college, and my dear wife, Celia. And then I was on the helm, we had just four of us. Um, lo and behold, we were first to the weather mark, um, and a boat with a wishbone boom kind of shot by downwind, but everybody else didn't really gain on us much. I mean, we ended up second overall and in our category in, in our category mm -hmm. and yay for uh, richmond yacht club and putting on these amazing beer can races great fun and i should add um, we did a lot more traveler work so Celia was helping some with that and then bill who was on the main sheet took it over and then michael was kind of running around doing all kinds of extra he was like our utility guy doing extra stuff besides just a jib sheet um, including some Genoa car work uh, that really helped us to go faster. So, yay! Show me life, show me love. Make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life, show me love.